Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors. Today, we're going to do a Mingarelia called Fabian. And plus two plus one is mean I have, a, I have a Fabian. Plus, I got another one. I went to Home Depot on 159th in uh, Harlem because that's the only place that I could find them. And I also got two more Mingarelias. I'll show you those. Today is October 8th of uh, 2021, 66 degrees Fahrenheit or 19 degrees Celsius. It's about uh, 8.30 in the evening. Now, here's the pots that, here's the ones that I bought. It's got a nice trunk on it, but you can see how wet it is. And that's because this pot was loaded with water. So I took it out and then I put the thing on top of the perlite so I can let it dry out a little bit because I don't want to I don't want to repot that when it's all under stress like that. Here's another Ming that I got. Nice trunk. They're about $14.95. Here's the other Fabian that I got. Yeah, it's $14.98. Now this is starting to dry a little bit here, but I'll have to take this out of the pot and see how it looks. So here's the Fabian we're going to do today. Got a nice little, uh, nice uh, trunk on it, and I have a nice little pot for it right here. Pretty big pot. This is this is going to be for my friend who owns uh, the Taste of Canton restaurant. He wanted a bonsai tree, so I think a Fabian would look good for him. Now in that pot, in the pot, there's like crevices in the corners. If you can see, they're deep little pockets. So all I'm going to do is first get my screen. I'm going to put some perlite in there because I want some. I want. I don't want no uh, standing water in there. So I'll hold my screen down. Throw in the perlite. Just like that. Spread it out on the bottom. You get a little bit more just so we get a proper drainage out of this pot. You don't want no standing water in here to rot the roots. That's why you got to watch those pots. I mean, they sell them in the stores with the idea of not letting them dry out and they'll have water to come up on, but sometimes it doesn't work that way. There we go. So we got that done. So this is the one we're going to pot. So I'm going to put this one on the side. We're going to get our free draining mix. And then our free draining mix. So it's uh, one part peat moss, one part worm castings, two parts perlite, and two parts uh, pine bark. And I'll show you how the mix looks. Now the reason why I did, did that is because it's, it'll be a better dr uh, draining soil mix. And not only that, this pot is heavy. So we're going to put some on the bottom right now, just for the time being. Before we do anything else now, we're going to take it out of the pot. So let's take this and see if we can get it out. There we go. See what I mean? The, the pot is in here, but it's got the drainage holes, but the, the drainage is shallow. So if the, when they make something like this, they should make the, the parts that it sits on a little bit taller. So that way there, it'll drain proper and won't sit in water. So let's just take some of the soil out of the way and just see where we're at on it. Now you can see it's got a nice root structure and I'm not going to take a lot off. I just want to get the base so we can up to the root system and all we're going to do is just tap it because it's, get, it's, it's right here is where the cut is. So you can see how nice it rooted. Now I'm not going to take more off because this isn't the time to do it. But uh, their mixture is mainly peat and bark. So let's take this out. I'll put my heavier dish on the bottom here. 
we'll get our potting container here and let's see how it looks into the pot so I'll take my little skewer so we can get the level of the pot so you can see where it's at and if we turn it in and to the bottom there that should be just right for what we need it for now, I don't want it now there's a a bad root on here so we're just gonna take that piece oh no it's not well it's came off now so that's gone so that's good and we don't want to take all these roots out yet because right now it's winter here in Chicago I mean it's, it's fall but we don't want to uh, really do a major repotting on this because it's going to be in my basement for now and then once I know it's established good then I'll bring it to my friend and uh, that way there it'll give itself a chance to establish now to find the, the front of the, of the tree I don't know, we can have the front of the tree this way, this way, this way, or this way. But I think more or less this way. And we can probably take a couple of these little branches out of the way. But I, for now, I'm going to let it just grow until it gets established because the roots are growing good. So right now, before we do anything else, we're going to put some azus all around the root base. And we're going to take a nice heaping tablespoon of the azus. Because we want this tree to really get established and stay for stay growing. And then I'm just going to tease the roots out just a little bit. There, look at that there. So, first we'll seal our bag real good so it doesn't get contaminated. And then we're going to tease our roots out a little bit. Put the azos in there just enough so it knows not to girdle around the, the tree. Just so I can get the roots out and tease them out so they know, hey, this is, there's more soil here. Not just, in the, not just growing in a circular motion. So there we go. Just get them so they know, hey, it's time to go out and grow. So all you do is get it in there. I think our, our center will be just like that. So, get some of this old soil out of the way. Now we're going to get our mikus and put it in there. We're going to also take a nice heaping tablespoon of that because we want... We want to get these roots nice and established, and that's what our beneficial bacteria does, is get our roots nice and established. So we're just going to put it on all around where we can get it onto the roots. And don't worry, just put it in. It's not a fertilizer. Remember that. It's a beneficial bacteria, so you're not going to harm the plant. We'll let them sit there for a minute until we can get more soil on the back there to hold them up. So this way here, everything gets smooth. All I'm going to do is take my little shovel here and then just put it right where it's got a gully in there so it keeps our little tree straight. So I think right about there with our pot this way, I think that's about the best front. Let me see. It's got to like a, where the glazing is rubbing off. So I think we're going to keep this as a front. And we'll just turn our tree around. Aurelia. Let's see. It's just like that. Something like that there. Now we'll get our potting mix. Put it in. Over there. And before we do more to it. We're just going to spray it to get the surface tension out of the bottom. Just like that. Right where our beneficial bacteria is. We'll get it into the soil that way. Make sure we're level. Just use a 
chopstick or a bamboo skewer to make sure we're pretty well level. Just take our soil and move around from, from the base of the tree just like that. This way here we know where the roots start just to get it going because right now what winter's sending in is going to have a lot of low light. But he's got a big storefront window, so that should help him out a lot. So there we go. Just get our soil put in real good. That's why it helps to get a turntable. Let me get my cup. I think I can get more in there. Just like that. And it's something easy to try and it's something because it's easy because it likes it'll grow in low light our, our mangarelia now if you look this way we're tilted to the side a little bit so all you do is get your fingers in there let's straighten it out a little bit get our bamboo skewer and we'll get our chopstick and just get it in like that that's all you got to do. Work it into the soil, work some into the new, into the root ball, just like that. There we go. And we still got to keep our tree straight. So all we'll do is push it under our trunk. So now you can see that it's straighter and you can see the nice trunk that we're showing. And for this as the front, everything is moving gracefully. Let's see, let's take some of this, put it in there, some over here. Let's get it around. Just like that. Don't be afraid to, to use your hands and getting in the soil and getting everything in. So now that we got it in, there we go. Now we can take a couple of these leaves off that are hiding the trunk. Just like that. Prune out any dead ones. Right in the right in the middle there. We don't want this growing into here. Because right now it's trying to, if you can see how it just fused all the way around the trunk there. I don't know if you can see that. But if you you can look and you can see how the how it's like developed a root going around there so we can leave it there and see how it develops or we can take it off but I think if we take it off we'll expose more of the trunk yeah I think so but then these grow for foliage for a nice canopy, so we'll see how, how that takes off and see if this trunk leaves, but that nah, second thought, we'll just cut it. We got it. Whether it'll root or not, I have no idea, but we can always try it out. So there we go. Got some of this stuff out. Now this is going to be super dry, this soil. So the best thing you have to do is really take the surface tension out because if you put water on this dry soil as it is now, it's going to float all up. The water is just going to run right off. It's like putting it on an upside down dish. The water will just flow right off. That's why you got to get the surface tension out. Squirt it real good. Just like that. See? Just like that. Now we can put, we can put a little rock in here if we wanted to, or under the tree. Like that, just to hold it into place until it gets established. Just like that. There we go. Now let's get our, uh, our bottle. And we'll just 
Give it a good watering, and then after that, we got to let it dry out completely. Well, not really completely, but like uh, at least. There we go. Now you're saying, why don't you use the feather rock? The reason why I'm not going to use the feather rock is because if this goes in the store, you don't want the, the little kids like to play with the plants in there. So you don't want them cutting their fingers on the feather rock because it is sharp. I mean, if you had it for yourself, it's not. But when you got kids around, then it's, it's different. Just like that. Okay, then we'll just push it in real good. Push, push, push. Just like that. I want it in there nice. Nice and solid. So our rock gives it a little bit of a character, plus it gives it the weight because the soil is super light. And we're just going to take a little more of our soil behind here. Just like that. Don't be afraid to do it. you got to do it. Whatever design you want to put in here, you are the artist. Just like that. And then, I'll give that a little bit more water. There's nothing running out yet, but... It will. This is a nice, fast draining soil. So, what are you going to do to dress up the top? Hey, is it going to go? Well, we're going to get our pine bark and use it as our our, uh, our mulch on the top. Just something different. And then I have some little rabbits to put under there because what's a What's a tree without some uh, animals going around it? So all we're going to do is take our pine bark and stick it in so we can have like almost like a, a situated forest floor with all the debris on the bottom. Just like that. There we go. Don't be afraid to decorate. Use your imagination. It's just something different that you can do. Just like that. Don't be afraid. Use your fingers if you have to to get it into the little nooks and crannies of the rock here. Just like that. Throw it into the corner there. Take the end of our spoon with the little ball and just move it around. That's all you got to do. Cover up all the perlite. Just something different. Something nice and easy to do. And a nice easy plant because it'll even grow in a north window. I mean, it ain't going to grow fast, but it'll grow for you. So that's all you got to do. And now, I got some rabbits here. I'll put a family of rabbits into our, our mix. Put a little one little bunny there. We'll put another little bunny over here. Just get them into there, get them established. And we got one over here. Uh, let's put them over here. All coming out of their, their little burrows, so to say. And you, all you do is wet the soil or the, the mulch real good. Just like that. Just do it. Don't be afraid to put in your mulch with your hands. Just fire everything in. Just like that. Get our spoon and just cover up whatever we got left there that's exposed. Just like that. And don't worry. If you got kids, Get them involved. They'll like to decorate the pot for you, too. But, I mean, this is just something you can do yourself. And with the, with the mulch in there, you can see how, how a nice woodsy effect it gives. 
So let me see if I can bring this up a little closer so you can see it better. Let's see, right about there. And there's our little forest floor with the little rabbits coming out of their burrows. We got one sitting over there. And that's our little tree, our little rock. Everything growing there real good. So I think that that what's gonna be uh, really nice, really nice looking. So don't be afraid, experiment. If you can get the Home Depot, they still got some of these Ming Aurelias there and a couple of Fabians. So this is the Fabian Aurelia. So don't be afraid to, to experiment. So, today's Friday night. Wives, husbands, uh, grandma, grandpa, those of you that aren't married and have your sweethearts over, move, kitch, kick the kitchen table and chairs on the side, put on some old time radio with the big band music, put on one of your favorite orchestras like Benny Goodman, Artie Shaw, Ozzy Nelson, uh, Glenn Miller, and just dance for a while and make, make yourself a nice little pot of tea and then sit down and relax and have a cup of tea and enjoy the rest of the evening. So I thank you for coming to this little clip on the Ming Aurelia, I mean the Fabian Aurelia. And uh, have a good night and take care and enjoy the evening. Dance with your partner. Relax. Get, get if, the, if grandpa's sitting on the chair or your husband's sitting on the chair, get him out of the chair and say, come on, let's have a dance for a while. So you take care, everybody, and have a good night.